Hey everyone, thanks for checking out the video. Today I am deep in the Ghost Valley and I am getting ready to do a winter survival camp. I have a minimal amount of gear with me this time and I am going to see how far I can push myself. Uh, tonight it's supposed to get down to minus 13 degrees Celsius, so I'm really excited to be able to see what I'm capable of and see how warm I can be with a minimal amount of gear. For my shelter this time, I only have a tarp and rope, so I basically have to make everything else that I'm going to be using for a shelter from what is around me. So that is going to be a lot of fun. I'm really excited to get at it. Before I go any further, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to the channel. It definitely keeps the channel growing and helps us out more than you know. I am going to get out of the truck and get moving. So I think I found a pretty decent spot. I'm just trying to maneuver my way there now. It's down between a couple of trees over here. It's decently flat. And I think there's probably some stone around. I can find a good fire rate. So I'm gonna be camped right in here. Okay, so we're gonna go through the gear that I have in my ruck. Um, I don't have a lot, but that's kind of the point of the trip is to do a survival style camp. So it is pretty minimal, but uh, I'm going to show you what I have just so you know what we're working with on this trip. Got my saw, a paracord, and right here is my shelter roll. Got my food bag, fire kit, rope, my handy dandy cast iron pan, gotta have a chair, coffee cup, extra clothing. All I have in here is uh, my waterproof layer, an extra pair of socks, and my base layers. I have my pot for doing water and cooking, coffee pot. Last but certainly not least, the ultimate survival tool, a good sleeping bag. So this is what I have on my trip this time. So we'll see how it goes and hopefully I make it through this one. So I strung this up with a Canadian jam knot and then I finished it off with just a basic bone line. Um, this is going to be good enough for what I need tonight. Um, I'll probably reinforce it a little bit later on, but this is good enough. This paracord can hold quite a lot of weight and I'm not going to be putting a ton of weight on it regardless.
Whew, it is cold out. My hands are freezing. catastrophic failure I, I I'm out of luck so this is uh, it's pretty important that I get this shelter rock in I'm gonna try to do an a-frame style so I'm gonna do something a little different than I usually do because I'm trying to make it a little bit smaller to conserve heat So the bulk of the shelter is finished, which is very exciting. Got the back side here. So these little buttons that I made are just rocks and I clumped them up in the tarp and then tied around them so that way I could pull the bulk of the tarp out to give me more, more room in the shelter. Same thing I did right here. And that is the result, ladies and gentlemen. It's gonna be pretty spacious. I'm pretty excited for it. I think I have a bunch of bow work to get to. So I am gonna get working on that. And then I will show you what I'm gonna do with those bows. That wind is sure nasty. I really wish it would calm down a bit. With all the bloody wind, this sure was an adventure to put up. It was not easy. I had to really jerry-rig some stuff to try to keep the corners down and keep them from blowing up on me all the time. Now that it's up, I kind of got to deal with the floor and create a little bit of a, an insulating pad so that way I'm not just sleeping on snow and cold crap on my sleeping bag because if I do that, I will wake up soaked. So I'm gonna be using spruce boughs to pad the floor a little bit and to be able to keep me off the ground, which is gonna save me a lot of heat. And also it's gonna kind of give me a little bit of a cushion because I'm just sleeping straight on nothing. I have no pad or anything this trip. So I kind of want something that's gonna be a little comfy. And these spruce boughs have a lot of give to them, especially when they're piled up. It's like a little mattress. All right, so that's just the beginning. I have definitely got a lot of work ahead of me. This stuff crushes down a lot, especially when someone my size is laying on it all night. So I'm gonna need a significant amount more. So I'm gonna get to working on that.
So all the brushwork that I just did, that was a bunch of wind stops because the wind was still really cooking through here and uh, it was really getting annoying. I also want to be able to have a fire rated in here and if there's too much wind that isn't going to happen. Now I got to get some firewood so I can get this fire going. Um, there's not a lot of light left. I have about an hour's worth of light left so that means I should really get this fire going before it's dark. Alright, I got to go get some firewood. Well, I'm really happy the fire's going because it's getting dark really quick. It's really cold, so I got to get really close to the fire. But man, when those flames jump up, it's a little freaky when they're just about to lick your hands and you got tree sap all over you. All right, I think I'm going to get dinner going. All right, so for dinner tonight, I've got a steak, I've got garlic butter, and an onion. I'm going to let this stuff burn down, and then I'm going to get the pan out and get everything cooking up. I'm really looking forward to some food. I'm starving. So I forgot to mention I do have this little Alpine cook kit that I always keep with me that I just kind of forget is in my backpack. It never really leaves my backpack unless I've been on a trip. So it's home and I forgot it was in there. So ironically, I've got it now. So that's not so bad. Especially in a survival situation when you realize you have gear that you didn't have before. It's awesome. Nice big chunks of onion. Oh yeah, look at all that. Perfect. There we go. Oh, that smells good already. Time for the steak. Oh yeah. Alright. Little bit of salt. Oh yeah. Oh, we gotta have the pepper. That looks about done to me. All right, look at that. Oh, that's a steak. Oh man. I would cut it, but I'm gonna go full savage on this guy, I think. Whew. Oh yeah. Wow. Yeah, I'm going full savage. Clearly, clearly. That is tasty. Man, I think this is one of the best steaks I've made out in the bush so far in my outdoor career. I've been doing this for a long time. It's damn good with all that garlic butter and onion and, oh yeah. So I got the update on the forecast on my GPS and it looks like I'm in for a beating tonight. I have huge gusts of wind coming in. You can probably hear the wind in the background. 
It's already started. It was supposed to start around six, and it has not disappointed. Um, if you're wondering why I haven't put my sleeping bag out, it's because um, I want to keep it in a very dry and uh, safe spot for now um, until I basically go to bed. And that's just because I don't want to risk getting my sleeping bag wet because once your sleeping bag's wet, you're pretty much screwed, uh, especially in a survival situation. And that's kind of the game we're playing out on this bushcraft trip. It's also supposed to snow a bunch tonight. Uh, I think it's supposed to be about three to four centimeters. Uh, so that's a good amount of snow. So hopefully I don't get uh, too much in the shelter. I believe I am situated the right way for the snow not to be blowing into my shelter. I checked to see which way the wind was gonna be blowing tonight. And uh, that's why I decided to orient my shelter this direction. It's just because it is gonna be just giving her. So I'm really hoping that I'll be okay. And then maybe I'll have a mountain of snow on the back side, but I'm really hoping not to have a mountain of snow on the inside. I think I'm gonna get some tea going. I actually remembered my tea this time, so that is really nice. It is getting pretty, pretty crazy. I'm trying to get all the firewood as close to my shelter as I can, so that way I don't have to go too far and get caught in this wind. But it is, yeah, it's crazy right now. Woo, there, there's another big gust. Well, finally my tea's done, which I'm really happy about because it is freezing out and I need to get something warm into me really bad. Um, it is going to be blistering cold tonight, but I actually have to let this tea cool down for a little while because it is way too hot for me to drink. I think I'll scold my whole mouth and throat if I drink any of it, but I'm going to hang out for a bit. I'm going to drink my tea and then I'll probably start getting ready for bed. Well, this is it for me tonight. I'm heading to bed, it's just about 9.30. Uh, the uh, wind is picking up quite a bit. I've been taking quite a beating already. As you can tell. All right, I'm gonna hit the spruce boughs. I'll catch you guys in the morning. Good night. Uh, I just woke up. I just wanted to fill you guys in. The windstorm is absolutely crazy. I actually got a break in the uh, in the wind to be able to talk for a minute, but it is like beating the absolute crap out of my shelter. But it's holding up, but it woke me up out of a dead sleep. So, uh, fire's still going. It is currently midnight. Um, but yeah, the, uh, the whole windstorm situation is wonderful. I am really cold so I'm gonna get back in the sleeping bag and try to get back to sleep I'll catch you guys in the morning oh good morning it is currently 6 30 a.m. and man am I tired the wind finally stopped being a pain in the ass at about oof, 3 in the morning 
I haven't popped my head out of the sleeping bag yet and I'm kind of nervous to do that. It was a rough night. I got beat pretty hard by the storm. I don't have no idea what the snow looks like or anything, but it's died down. So I'm gonna have to poke my head out eventually, but man, it was a rough night. All right, I gotta get up. Oh. Shelter did pretty good. Not a lot of snow in the back. Everything held pretty well. So I'm happy with that. We got the fire going. The, uh, the camera needed charging. When I woke up, it was almost dead. So I had to charge it up. And while I was doing that, I got the fire going. So I was freezing. It's really nice to have in that wind like ripping around. It kept me up most of the night. I barely slept. It wasn't because I was cold. It was the wind. It was just gnarly. It was just ripping through here like there's no tomorrow. Well, now that the fire's going, I have the opportunity to make some coffee, which I'm definitely gonna do because I am in some serious need, especially because I barely slept last night. So I'm gonna get to that and I will catch up with you in a bit. It is finally coffee time. I cannot tell you how in need I am of this cup of coffee. This has been a rough morning. So I am very happy to be enjoying a good cup of coffee in front of the fire. Oh, yep. That is the stuff. Oh, that is the nectar of the gods. Oh, well, I've got nothing better to do than just hang out and wait for the sun to come up. So that is what I'm going to do. I will catch you guys in a bit. It has been an absolutely beautiful morning. There's kind of a little bit of a light snow coming down right now, um, but there's absolutely no wind. It is perfectly calm. It has been such a treat, especially with what I dealt with last night. That wind last night was pretty horrific, but now it's all kind of worth it. It is just really calm and beautiful. It's been a lovely morning. It's just super peaceful, especially during the winter when there's no one out here and there's just nothing but you and the snow and the trees and all the squirrels. <laughs> all right, well, I gotta get to breaking down camp and then I gotta hike back to the truck. So I'm gonna get to that.
So everything is all cleaned up and torn down. The only thing I'm leaving behind is the fire pit. Time to get out of here. Stuck there. Woo. Happy I'm out of that. I've been having four wheel drive. My god. But we are on the road. Alright. Oh, no, just kidding. Huh. Alright, now we're on the road. There we go. We are on the road, ladies and gentlemen. Alright. I gotta really focus because these road conditions are really bad. So enjoy a nice time lapse. I'll catch you guys in the next